All right, hey guys. So in this replay, we have uh, me on the bottom, Scar Lord, a piece of paper, Galaxy Warp, and Anubis, all from the AEA mod pack server, and that is what we will be playing today in a three v three. So uh, a piece of paper and Scar Lord are going to both rush a rocket per forwards. Um, I'm just gathering extractor points at this point, and I don't realize this exists. Um, I do put one here, um, which is actually his, so I reclaim it in a second because he needs it, uh, early game. But yeah, they claim both of the donuts because he told us to rush donuts, both of us, but I had no idea what the donut was originally. <laughs> so, you know, they got both the donuts, which was an early disadvantage of four extractors. Which was not good, but piece of paper tried to get one down there, failed. Um, yeah, I've started to make amp jets. Uh, I discovered this extractor, and in a second, I tell a piece of paper about it in the chat because it's an extra extractor point. Uh, yeah, they also <laughs> missed the uh, weird extractor points. Um, but yeah, this map's really fun, and it gets really intense, uh, in a bit, just because AEA mod pack is insane. It's really fun, too. So, and they have, like, phantom scouts. Uh, those can't get attacked when they go into, like, phantom mode or whatever it's called. They basically just go invisible. Uh, yeah, so they begin making fabricators, and... Scarlord told us to, I think I'm pronouncing his name wrong, because like, I think there's a J, but I, ju I just call him Scar, so, whatever, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm producing attack jets, amp jets, and some interceptors now, just trying to get an air force down while I'm also pumping out uh, fabricators, because that was my main job, and that's seriously all I know how to do early game. Which is why I cannot win 1v1s. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I, they told me to do it, so it's, it's fine. Yes, intentional. Um, but yeah, uh, so in middle we have uh, Experimental Tank coming up. Uh, at the same time as them, which is really fortunate. Otherwise they would have just had a very early advantage. Um, and they also get this wall built which gives you fog range it's it's quite interesting really and it's cheap i think it's like 50 bucks yeah so that's like half a second if you make it per second or one second if you're making you know 40 so yeah you can use these things for like one second but it's obviously a little small uh i think he's going to yeah he's going to push the scar brings in his experimental tank, and I think they see it. They pull back. Uh, we a piece of paper also made a ton of dusters, and we have a radar truck from him as well. A uh, very useful for information. I've made uh, 300. Oh, more. Wait, no. Yeah, I've made 320 dollars worth of fabricators. Um, and so yeah, I have claimed early lead for my move. Actually, that dude has, like, the same amount as me, uh, just because he tier 2 then. But I am technically ahead. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to put some air defense on them, because I do not trust these guys at all. Because Scar's a pro, piece of paper's pretty good. I'm sorry. Um, and then I don't remember these. I know Anibus is a B class, which is pretty good. Uh, I don't know about Warp and Galaxy, but I don't really remember what it is, so. Probably around B to A class. And, uh, Scar is S class. I think we played with Scar. I swear we did. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty sure. Uh, like th these usernames confuse me when people don't use the same username. 
but yeah. Alright, so they send that out and it gets wrecked. Uh, they also own a scorpion. And scorpions are pretty nice from what I can tell. We send in the air. Uh, oh gosh, this is where we have micro problems. So, we target the other one, pull back, the other one, pull back, and then pull back. Uh, <clears throat> shared control was on and I had input lag. So, it was just a mess right there. But I have gotten up to 482. Ahead of that, dude. Huh. <laughs> Building a massive amount of extractors is better than tier 3 them. If he makes a couple more, he gets way more income than I do. But, uh, it doesn't matter. Also, from what I can tell. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, you also see they're going to be making uh, fabricators in weird patterns just around like this. Um, <clears throat> I'm not putting them in large groups for the most part because there is a unit called the Grand Slam Bomber. Uh, basically, it just drops a bomb that's the size of a nuke, but I think bigger, and it can't be blocked. Like, yeah. There's no laser defense in this, so. If you can get the Grand Slam Bomber there, they're dead. Uh, but that's also why you build a ton of interceptors. And then there's also a counter to a ton of interceptors, which is an EMP anti-air. Um, pretty much one of them just wrecks, like, a unit cap worth of interceptors it heavy interceptors it's insane and then against normal air they're they're okay i think i don't know i've i've really only seen one used against uh this so it's kind of hard to tell because this has quite a bit of hp uh but yeah i started making uh heavy interceptors just for the purpose of dealing with Grand Slam Bombers because they're literally just the OP-ness of nukes so yeah they're scary but see they're just making these in weird little squares so Grand Slams can't murder your entire uh, industry <coughs> uh, yeah, they, they, these two have different methods for it, and then warp is just, uh, no, this is, this is galaxy. Galaxy is just, uh, putting his like this, but he doesn't have that many yet, so. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, they now have, oh, not really. Yeah, I think I'm at the most income right now. <laughs> Yeah, definitely I have the most income. <sighs> yeah, but not by too much. Well, sorta. Of. Not from from this dude, not that much, but enough. Um, but yeah, they send one into our base. We did not prepare for grand slams at all, other than uh, making these. Which I'm supposed to make 30 of, but yeah, I am making 30 of them. And then I've also lined um, my side with these, and I was gonna go to this side, but I kind of forgot. And actually, a piece I saw that a piece of paper handled it, sort of. But this is an EMP AA. Um, I don't know what energy does, but. It's AEO damage, um, and it instantly disables enemy shields, and in this you'll also see that their, uh, their shield is buffed and their HP is nerfed to make, like, amjets more effective and stuff, so, <laughs> you know, they're a lot, I, I'd say they're better. But they also get countered easier, so they're not 
but yeah, AEA mod pack is very balanced, and I've reached max income at this point, uh, almost, other than th this one that I did not see, but all these are going to be upgraded, and I will have max income. I will. Actually, now because credit factories exist. Let's see, where are there's Yeah. I kind of forgot that these things were a thing for a while. So I did not make any. But there is some combat in middle, yes. It, it takes a while for combat to get going. Uh, but yeah, it's quite a fight here. Uh, we end up being able to defend our borders. Really, they were um, doing most of the pushing for this match for a while. Um, see, he's starting to make credit factories, and I'm making an experimental spider to go and make credit factories. Uh, you can also tier two them. But yeah, a piece of paper kind of leaves them open. Uh, Scar points that out, and I'm going to go make mine, like, right here. Because it's in his base, and they nuke on death, and nuke on death does not affect allies. So it's, good. it's a good workaround, although if you place them all together, they'll still kill each other. But once you're making two, uh, uh, max income with fabricators, making one is not that bad uh, yeah and they're they de they're definitely worth it what do they do plus 68 and that's yeah this is tier two tier one oh he's tier two then oh here's a tier one tier ones only make 35 per second but that's still really nice and you can make up to eight because everything has a Everything that makes money has a unit cap. We're engaging in a fight almost, or I'm not. The, they're microing this for me because uh, Scar is just better. <laughs> so he's pulling it back now. And they fortunately back off because I, I think they might have been able to kill it right there if they had tried. But actually we do have a lot, yeah, a piece of paper was just kind of, yeah, so we won that, but that's nice, <laughs> but yeah, repair bays are so overpowered in this, they, they literally just replace uh, laser defense, uh, for defense, uh, and you can tier 2 them now, <laughs> it's really nice, so they get increased ranged and a nano burst, uh, which heals 1,200 HP. Oh, there's a bra. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. This is the equivalent of a nuke. They, they, the maker of this mod clearly, I, well, Scar, clearly does not like nukes and did this. <laughs> it's very nerfed compared to a nuke because you can only make two at a time whereas nukes you can spam until you win but you know it, it actually increases the balance and it, they are annoying for this and yeah if the, if he had sent it here but fortunately you know air defense and stuff would have stopped him also by this point I have a radar down uh, radars are very useful. They see very far through fog, if you didn't know what it did. Um, and it can pretty much just see probably like around up to here. Uh, they, we constructed them as a counter for Grand Slam bombers because now we can see them approaching and they're pretty slow. So when you see one, that's when you just send your entire heavy interceptor force. And this cloud looks like it's mainly heavy interceptors, but 
Oh, those are swallowtails. Uh, we have three swallowtails and 59 attack jets in here that are just really hard to see. Now let's see what's going up here. So yeah, a piece of paper is sending a mothership here. A ton of interceptors going after it. Nuke on death takes them all out, which kind of makes up for the loss. Not really, but it, it uh, makes it less painful. But it, considering how much money we all have right now, Losing a mothership is not that big of a deal. Um, in that situation, you know, is in her base. Losing this is bad. But, yeah. <laughs> the main thing right now is just making enough factories that you can produce all the units you want. And we have some combat in middle. They are spamming. Uh, these experimental mechs take out our mid. Um, this is where I sent the air defense in. Uh, that Titan's gonna go bye bye, you know, very quickly. Um, we also apparently have enough anti air to take all these out. The bra comes, and this is, um, yeah, it failed. A bra came here earlier and wrecked us. I think. Uh, we lure into the EMPA, and you see how fast it just moves them. Uh, this is on times two, of course, but like, it's fast. Where's the bra? I don't like this. I hear two of them. It makes a bra sound effect when they spawn. In case you guys can't hear that, I I just hear nuking. I don't know where that was. But yeah, we get a Titan in, wrecks their anti-air, and we just retreat it. That, that was actually pretty smart. Now it goes, oh my gosh. Titans are not that good, I don't think. But when microed properly, their DPS is insane. Oh my, 104.07 seconds. That's a lot of damage. Uh, um, yeah, I've built a mothership too because they can spam assault mechs, which are really quite quite nice. As you can see, I have three assault mechs, but I've also just made uh, five. Five, yeah, I think five. Wait, I could have just counted. Yeah, that's five. I've made five experimental factories, so now I'm just pumping out five experimental mechs at a time, which is going to rival what they have. They have nine. We now have three, eight, nine, Titan, Mothership, and these. Piece of paper started making these, and they're really nice. And, you know, I get a little bit jealous of all that firepower, so I start making my own. Uh... And yeah, I do have five more experimental mechs down here, just hanging out. They also have this, which to be honest is not that great, I don't think. Like, if you got an army of them, sure. But they, they don't seem to be that good to me. Like, all these really heavy endgame units, like the Titan, I feel like if you just spam enough units like this because these are really strong and then you can also spam as I said so it's kind of just death for them so yeah they send their things in but we took out two experimental mechs which is a good blow um, they start sending some of their things in gets destroyed and now they're uh, encouraged to do a full push so they're sending their units into the base little do they realize we sort of have that uh, they're sending that in it quickly gets destroyed fortunately um and this is where we just go all out with it this is endgame we're in endgame now um, I, 
they told me to wait to send my Amtrak in because we have an EMPA, and I sort of do, but I send it in on this because it has a shield, and yeah, as you can see, it kind of got killed really quickly by those Amtraks, which were also taken out from the nib, but pretty easy fix for that. And now is the point where uh, the server disconnects, I think. Oh, uh, not quite yet. <laughs> yeah, so we just start sending all of our units in that way. And we just sent in so much at the end, I guess, that the server disconnects. And yeah, it's kind of sad. But I think we would have won, considering this was our. Yeah. So the server disconnects right here. So this was our force, right? that and we had just wrecked there so they didn't have anything other than what they could produce in a moment so i think we would have won that really easily from here you know just gone through wiped out everything uh but unfortunately we had too much and it lagged out the server so uh thanks for watching guys and that's going to be it